Susan. Why do you? Did you go to the Maya Fest in your bed? <laughs> oh, I have you now, Sherry. <laughs> oh, good lovely. Yeah. What are you doing? Building a house. I want to the library. Right. What are you? I just fell in. So we're going to play a little game. I'm sure some of you have played this one before. <laughs> Take a good look at everything on the tray. You're going to get 30 seconds to try to memorize what's on this tray. And afterwards, you're going to write down as many items as you can. Remember, it's that simple. Sit close, sit close. Squeeze, squeeze, close. Mm. Why do you purr up so deep? Don't you go. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, I see that you're playing on lipstick. It's a little bit of a bit of a mess. It's not going to suck it just as well as that one. It's a little bit of a bit of a jump of a bit. It's not going to build up stickage on this one. Oh, yes. that's so uncanny. Isn't What's it? in it, my dear? Well, this is my famous carrot and pineapple salad. Do you care to have some? I don't know if I would like that one, my dear. It's a good thing. Look at all those colors. Um, oh, do you not like see all these? I'm not playing on my bed with you. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Did you know I played on my bed? I told her she just had to play on my bed. Thank you, Aideen. I'm so thrilled to be here with you this evening. I recognize a few faces. Joanne, Sherry, Lydia, hi there. Nice to meet the rest of you. If you're wondering why this seems to be such a friendly little crowd, I can tell you that some of these ladies have booked parties in the past or attended a party in the past and have been invited by Way Dean again. And you might be wondering why would they come again? You're going to find out tonight that this beautiful display is only a small part what Tupperware offers, and every party I do, I certainly can't bring everything, and so every party I change it up a little bit. So for example, I know that Way Dean loves to entertain, and so what you'll see here is a selection of things that might be more suitable for entertaining as well as for food storage and other purposes. So I'm convinced that a couple of you will book a party tonight. And so ladies, if you get invited to that party, please show up. You're going to find a whole new array of Tupperware that you can mix and match, not just in terms of color, but also in terms of functionality. So, um, without further ado, I uh, do want to draw your attention to a couple of products uh, that are in your catalog. Does everyone have one of these? Wait, Dean, would you mind? I think she said she needs one. Thank you. So this is yours to keep. I hope you'll take it home with you and take your time looking through. So let me just direct you to a few things in the catalog that I wasn't able to bring tonight. 
As I mentioned, tonight is an entertainment night, not a baking night. So I am going to show you a few things related to baking. But first, just open your catalog to the middle. And you will see immediately a fold-out. It's the only fold-out in the catalog. And on one side, you're going to find four salad recipes that can, you can use in, let's see, what do we have? The Wonder Blend Salad, the Turnabout Salad, the Cherry Surprise Salad, and the Roquefort coleslaw. And so you can use any one of your Wonderlier bowls, depending on the size of the salad that you want to make, or your larger mix and serve. If you open this, you will see some carbon. Be careful, don't touch this. The black part is carbon. So you can just keep that closed. And then, on the other side, there's a list of all of our products, prices, a place for you to check how many you would like, uh, to do some subtotals and totals, and you, may, you can also, let's see, can check. I would like to have a Tupperware party right here. And I would like to know more about the possibility of becoming a Tupperware dealer like me. <laughs> right here. After you complete your order form, all you need to do is tear out this hole it's the whole piece is perforated. The entire fold out. And then tear the fold out into two pieces, also perforated right here. And then I will come around and collect the ones that have the carbon. And just let me handle those. So your hands won't get dirty. And that leaves you with a carbon copy of your order, so you would remember what you've ordered, and the recipes for the salads. A little gift for you. Okay, so I want to spend most of our time this evening looking at the actual products I've brought. This is one reason why I love to sell Tupperware, because I'm able to actually show you the quality of our products in person. You can try them out yourself. Here we go. So on page three, we have the Tupperware mixing bowls, again in three sizes. They all nest together. I will show you in just a few minutes uh, how our Tupperware works in terms of storage of the Tupperware itself, the nesting. Um, we have the roll-out plastic mats and rolling pins and also canisters of different sizes. And one more item. Uh, it's not pictured 
in this catalog, but you can order it. It's on the order form. Um, here's the catalog from our last campaign. And it's called The Mix and Store. And I'll send this catalog around so you can see the mix in store right here, which is one of my most used, most loved items. It's opaque white, so you are able to see the level of both something solid like flour or water. Um, and then it has a lid with a spout. Everything snaps down just like our handelier and uh, it uh, allows you to store things that you've already mixed up like let's say cookie dough. Uh, you can make something right in that with your mixer or a spoon. Maybe it needs to be refrigerated for a bit before you can roll out cookies or something like that. And so that allows you to store that. So those are the two baking items I wanted to draw your attention to. Let me just pass this around so you can see. Most everything in that catalog is in the one that you have. Okay, so let's jump into the demonstrations. This is the fun part. Let me start with some Tupperware basics. How many of you have never attended a Tupperware party before? Okay. So, I guess that means I'll be booking six parties tonight. <laughs> anyway. How many of you have never used Tupperware? Okay, so you're going to be so pleasantly surprised. So, let me first talk about our small Wondelier set. I love that name. They are little wonders. Aren't the colors just beautiful? I love that trio. Looks like sherbet, doesn't it? So, if I were to recommend anything for someone who has never tried Tupperware, this is where I would begin. Let me show those of you who are not familiar with Tupperware a couple of interesting things about this set. First of all, and I think this is the most important thing, the unique seal that is included with most of our products. If it is a storage container, you're going to see a seal. And we call this a seal, not a lid, because of its very special properties. Now, now we all are used to refrigerator dishes. They are very convenient, aren't they? Especially because they stack in the refrigerator, usually made out of ceramic and glass, or the whole kit is made of glass. But 
you know how they work. The lid. Put that gently down, glass to glass, on top of the refrigerator dish, and store your food. But air leaks in because there's not an airtight seal between the two pieces of glass. You can see where this is going. This is what makes Tupperware so incredibly innovative. Let me show you how this works. So there's a tab right here. Very easy to put a finger under, thumb over, and lift the seal. Just like that. And the seal comes off very easily and smoothly. Now, this is what we mean by airtight and leak proof. When you put a seal on a bowl, you're going to press lightly all the way around toward this tab and then you're eventually going to get to the tab and it will seal like that but you're not done now we want to put our thumb in the center and lift up the seal very gently, just barely crack it as we press in the center. I want you to listen. Did you hear that? That's the burp. That is the Tupperware burp. Now we know that seal is impregnable. Leak proof, airtight, I could toss this over to you, Lydia. I won't, I promise. <laughs> but we don't have to worry about any leaking in the, ref in the freezer or the refrigerator. And we can even store these upside down. Especially if you're trying to squeeze some things in your freezer that makes more sense for you, no problem. Can you imagine doing that with a refrigerator dish? I didn't think so. So that's how our seal works. Now, I have to point this out. Here at Tupperware, we do have a lovely, cute little mascot. And he is our Tupper seal. Let me find him. There he is. So you have the Tupperware logo here in the middle. And if you look closely, right here, you'll see our seal. Isn't he cute? And it says, Tupper Seal. You can all take a closer look after the demonstration. I just think that's adorable. Alright, so the next thing that's so innovative about Tupperware. I want you to think about how you store your refrigerator dishes. They're not terribly easy to store. A lot of clinking around. Balancing. If we take each seal See that 
they missed. I think I need to take up juggling just a little bit. Okay, see that? All three bowls in the space of one bowl. Can you imagine three refrigerator dishes in your cabinets in the space of one? I don't think so. Now, ways that women store the seals. One way is to nest your bowls like this and simply store the seals in reverse order just like that. Another way, and you'll see this in the catalog, I didn't bring it with me, is the seal organizer. You just have your husband install it in your kitchen at a convenient place in the pantry or in your kitchen. And we use, the, again, the tab that we're, that we're pulling on to open the seals. If you look closely, you see that? There's a hole and uh, a little cut out so the hole isn't solid. And so you can slide these onto the organizer and because that hole is not solid, you can yank off a lid even if it's further back. So you can store them in any order, pull one off, use it, Put it back on either on the front or because this hole is split like that. You can put it in the back if you would prefer, say, the larger ones in the back. Just like that. The last thing that I want to tell you is these make wonderful gifts. You can see how easy it would be to package this in quite a small box. And they are light as a feather, so postage is not going to be a problem. So these are fantastic for long distance gifts. Or if you'd like to give a gift to a friend or your mother or your sister, you can stack them like I had, and wrap a big bow around the set, all stacked up, so you can see all three colors. That makes such a beautiful presentation. So, like I said, this is our small Wondelier set. bowl is also part of a different set. And this is our large Wondelier set. And of course, if you buy both sets, you're going to have two yellow bowls, which I think so convenient. It's the middle size, and that's usually the size that we reach for most often. Isn't that beautiful? And like I said before, these three nest together, and we already know that these nest inside the yellow. So you can imagine what I'm about to say. All six bowls. Remember, you'd have two yellows. All six bowls would nest in the space of this one bowl. Can you believe that? That's really, I 
think the, the nesting and the seal are the two things that make Tupperware so innovative. Now, what do I mean by mix and match? Well, a, a number of things. One example is our 12 ounce tumblers. And they come in an assortment of colors. You can certainly collect all of one color or have the rainbow. One of the things that I love about Tupperware is this pastel rainbow in general. But one example would be the little shake. Isn't that adorable? I like to use mine to make homemade Thousand Island dressing. There's nothing better than homemade. You can see here. See there's a single hole. Right there. That makes it very easy to dispense liquid in a controlled way. So you can store vinegar, olive oil. You can mix the two together to create some uh, dressing, some Italian dressing. I find that most of my customers like to use this for dressing, <laughs> but it can be used for anything. Now you might be wondering, uh, what else you do with it and we actually have a different seal. Let me show you how this works. So this is the seal with the solid area to make it airtight. But these are replaceable, for example, if you were to lose one. Or you can get one that has several holes in it and put that over the spout and we go from one hole to several and then you have a water shaker that you can use when you're ironing and need a little bit of extra moisture before you steam. I find that's very helpful with linen, with my husband's shirts, things like that. So, dressing, ironing, you name it, this one is very versatile. One other thing I want to point out is that the base is one of our tumblers, one of our small tumblers. Of course, this comes as a set, just like this. But, if we take one of our larger tumblers, we can put this lid on the larger tumbler, if you have a larger quantity of dressing, if you are entertaining or something, um, and you want to fill the bottle uh, with more. So they fit, they don't fit over every tumbler, but the catalog will tell you which size tumblers this seal will fit over. And this one is the 12 ounce. Alright. There we go. 
So here we have our carousel caddy. And I've placed six of our little mini tumblers, each with its own tiny seal on the top level. Isn't that amazing? You can just screw that back in and lift up the set if you just want to use it for iced tea. Of course, we have some iced tea spoons to go with each tumbler. that nestles right down in there. And there we go. We call the top tray the balcony tray. are enjoying your drinks tonight and just notice that the coasters that you're using for, to protect Wayne's gorgeous coffee table are rainbow wagon wheel coasters and they come in this lovely container. Here's the most remarkable thing about these. So there are tiny holes. If you lift up your drink, you can get a closer look. You don't have to take yours apart, but if you simply lift off the seal, you'll find a place for the water or the condensation to collect. But instead of simply sloshing around inside, we have a very thin piece of foam lays right in there and collects that condensation. So when you put your tumbler on the coaster, the coaster will not stick to the tumbler. I just think that's another ingenious idea by Tupperware. This is one of my favorite pieces, especially for entertaining, but even for uh, every night when I make coleslaw, I can take some potatoes and slice them thinly, or tomatoes, or anything you like, cucumbers. And I can use this surface right here to grate cabbage. Um, carrots, onions, and everything is caught right here. Simply lift it off, and 
and you can serve your coleslaw or whatever it is you're making right here. That is just so convenient for every night, but very convenient when you're in a rush and you're entertaining and you're worried about getting everything on the table. The other nice thing about this is I'm not going to cut myself. On either side. Sharp enough to work on your vegetables, but soft enough, gentle enough for your fingers. Isn't that amazing? No more trying to balance a tin shredder over a plate. <laughs> now you just can't entertain children. without thinking about life from their perspective. As far as I'm concerned, if I can keep the children happy, I'm happy. And so, one of these delightful sets of ice tups Six ice tubs and a stand. Can make all the difference at a birthday party or when the kids are playing outside and they get bored and they need a little break. All you do is lift the edge of the seal. And fill this with, my favorite thing is to fill it with Kool-Aid. You do need to use um, a little bit more sugar when you make popsicles like this. Because as soon as that freezes, the taste of the sugar is not as intense. So just bear that in mind. See, for one pitcher of Kool Aid, I use one packet of Kool Aid and two cups of sugar. And if I'm making these, I will add an additional cup of sugar. Pour those in there. Don't fill to the top because, um, as you know, it will expand when it freezes. And then this is the, the piece that sort of grabs hold <laughs> of the popsicle once it's frozen. And then just pull that out, hand that to your children, and they will be happy. Oh, before I seal that, um, don't want to forget... Uh, washing these is uh, obviously important because they're going to be very sticky. And so this tab pulls out. There we go. So you can wash these and get them nice and clean and no stickies. And then just insert. like that. And then you're good to go for the next round. All you need to do is put 
these upright in the stand in your freezer. And they take care of themselves. This is a very inexpensive way to make popsicles for your kids. Ice tub. Then, ladies, I think it's time to find out who won our prize for this evening. Yes, so... I think the easiest way I find to do this is to count the total number of items you were able to remember on the tray. All right, let's start Hi, How many of you have more than 10 items on your list? I'm impressed. More than 13? Okay. What do you have? 14? 15. Okay. All right. Well, we just need to make sure that the 15 items that you have on your list match the items on the tray. Boy, Dean, would you care to bring the tray back in? While she's doing that, I'd like to show you our prize. This lovely set of measuring spoons. In our Pastel colors matches everything that we have here on the table in terms of color scheme. And I know some of you have yellow kitchens, some of you have pink kitchens, some of you have mint green. You can see that all of this works very well in kitchens, no matter the color. This is a nice set. They can be taken apart right here with this screw, or you can just leave them as a set. Okay, Miss Waydeen, who is our winner? Okay, Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. Please come up and get your prize. There you go. All right, so I'm going to turn the evening over to Waydeen, and I will be here to answer any questions here up at the table. Feel free to come up, try any products that you like, uh, but I will also be going around the room and helping with your order forms or answering questions there as well. I am so, so grateful to have had the opportunity to meet you this evening, and I look forward to getting to know you girls even better.